Hi, my name is Victor Epo. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I created this design. Let me go to a new page. Okay. So this is a new page. The dimension I'm using is 3200 by 3200. That is the workspace. So first, what I need to do is I'll go over to Pinterest to gather the images I will use. How did I do that? I come over to my Pinterest and I search for Messi because I want to use his picture. So I search for Messi. Messi image HD images. So that is high quality images. So I scroll down, I scroll down searching for the particular picture I can use. So after that, after I downloaded it, I go over to my photo room. I come to my photo room, which I've downloaded already on my phone click on starts from then these are the pictures I downloaded what I do is I click on this one and it removes the background you see it removes the background then I download it after that I go over to my Canva to upload them I come over to my Canva, click on this plus icon, come to upload. So this are uh, everything I've uploaded. Now what I want to use, uh, I want to, let me bring in this first. This one, the background is still there, I didn't remove the background. What I do is I increase it, I crop it a bit, increase it, crop it, I just want it to be big, okay, so I leave it like this, I come over to filter. I just okay before I do that let me just bring in other pictures so I'll see how it looks like so this is one I've brought the first one I click on the plus icon again to bring in one of the picture I have already removed the background then I increase it you see the um, the photo the watermark is there all I do is I crop it a bit Okay. Yeah. I don't mind the bar. Then I increase it like this. Okay, it seems this one is a bit bigger. I centralize it. I bring this one this way. And I come to my upload again. I select another image, which is this. Come over to flip and flip it horizontally. Then I increase it like this. Crop out the watermark. Increase it. I leave it like this okay. Okay. okay okay so this is actually what I did 
what I do here is I come to this particular image, come to my filter, and I choose straights. When I choose the straights, I I change the background color, which is brown. The brown is from this particular image. You see, that is why that is something I love about Canva. Once you upload an image, it will give you the colors you can use. So I just selected them and I go for this. After that, I just want to put some touches and other things. I click on my plus icon. On my plus, I come to elements. I search for dots. As I search for dots, I come over to graphics. Scroll down, okay. I'm using this. I change it to white and I bring it here. I reduce it a bit. I reduce it like this. Position it backward. Duplicate. Yes, I just keep on duplicating, adding it to some parts I would love it to be, so that it will just make the background a bit catchy. Click on the plus again. I search for plus. And I use this first one. Change the color to white. And I reduce it like this. So I reduce like this. It's here. I duplicate. I duplicate. Um, so anything you just want to add to it, do that. I also went ahead to download the um, the logo, PSG logo. From I downloaded it from Pinterest. Then I went to Photo Room to remove the background. Then I crop out the logo the watermark I place it here I reduce the transparency so like um let me say twenty five twenty five I position it backward uh, okay so I just want it to have a little touch in the bar in the image I'll leave it like that and the next thing I'll just come over to this place and write the text I change the color to white let's see and uh, messy. I choose poppins, poppins bold, and I come over to my format to change to all caps. I reduce it like this. This is like this. Come here. I come to my elements. Cancel this. I want to add a shape so that the lion will pop out. I 
choose my shape I change it to black then I do it like this once you are working you zoom in to see what you are working on leave it like this so you can add other things you want to add join some other stuff okay lastly before I go I just want to increase the sharpness of the image what I do is I come over to adjust then blow you reduce the blur. If you increase the blur, it will be blurry. But once you reduce it to minus something, it will make it sharper. But for this, I'm leaving it at minus nine. This one also, I'm leaving it at minus nine, so that it will be a bit sharp. So after that, if you don't have other things you want to add to it, you can just download. So this is how to create this particular design in Canva. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.